Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> sometimes hello ladies and gentlemen children of all ages welcome back to the knights of horror it's your boy sam and today we will be discussing the history of queen mary's dark harbor for those of you who do not know dark harbor is entering into its 10th season this year and will be bigger and better than ever it will be playing off the rich history of the ship and bringing your fears to life although i have never been to the event I'm super excited to experience it. But before we get into the event and its history, let us talk about the ship. The Queen Mary set sail on May 27, 1936. It was selling the high seas until 1967, and then it came home to Long Beach, California. That is a whopping 31 years voyaging around the world. Throughout the time, it was a luxurious ship taking citizens out to sea and during World War II, taking soldiers out to war. It is said without the contributions of the Queen Mary, the Allies may have lost the war. Throughout its time at the sea, it developed numerous stories, including people dying in the ship in many mysterious ways and some haunted areas. So much so that the ship is regarded as one of the most haunted places in America. Due to its haunting history, many have decided to explore what makes the ship so scary. In fact, the ship offers year-round paranormal tours, invites paranormal investigators, and offers special reservations for those seeking to enter in to the scares. For example, for those who are not faint to heart, you can pay to stay in B340, which is the most haunted room on the ship. This room is known for its mysterious activities and unexplained phenomenons. If you decide to stay in this room, you will have to make special reservations and do beware of its history, including glass claiming that, that someone was knocking on the door in the middle of the night. Other complaints include bathroom lights turning on and on, but on and off by themselves, the sink faucet turning on and off on its own, and unexplained bathroom doors randomly shutting. Some guests have reported the covers of their beds even being pulled off while asleep and waking to see mysterious dark figures standing at the foot of their bed. Over the last 10 years, Queen Mary's Dark Harbor has aimed to bring the history of the ship to life. The event began under the creative direction of David Wally and has since grown to include icons in the haunt industry like John Cook from Plague Productions. As the event has grown older, it has expanded into more areas of the ship and brought the lore of the ship to life. Due to the history of the ship, the creative team behind the event has been given ideas just by hearing haunting stories of the ship's past, like the pool which Scary Mary is said to haunt, or the time the ship almost capsized during World War II. Over the last nine years, the event has brought to life many icons. First, there's the captain who is in control of the event. Then there's the ringleader and voodoo priestess, or some of the other iconic characters, although they are not directly tied to the lore of the ship. Lastly, there are some of the characters in the mazes like half Hedge Henry and Scary Mary, who are said to be ghosts on the ship, and the creative team behind Dark Harbor have decided to allow to haunt the mazes. This year, the event will have six mazes and 13 bars, but we'll be discussing those at a later time. Lastly, the event will be expanding its scope of influence to include Dark Horizons, a new event coming to Florida. Well, that is, uh, that's going to do it for our video today. Do not forget to like and to su subscribe. Leave a comment below of what icon you're most excited to encounter at Dark Harbor. This week, we will continue our coverage of Queen Mary Dark Harbor LA, and LA Haunted Hayride. Lastly, follow us on Twitter at Knights of Horror and Instagram at The Knights of Horror. See you in the next video. Peace.